Release conditions allow you to create a custom learning path through the materials in your course. When you attach a release condition to an item, users cannot see that item until they meet the associated condition. For example, you could attach a release condition to the second topic in your course's content area that would hide that topic until users viewed the topic before it. Or you could create a condition that required users to view a content topic before gaining access to a quiz or one that required them to post a message to a discussion topic before they could see a content module. You can put release conditions on the items below. Let's review the common elements of release conditions. Release conditions are typically found on the Restrictions tab. From here, you can attach an existing release condition, create and attach a new release condition, and remove existing conditions. When creating a release condition, select a condition type and condition details. The condition details section is populated based on what you selected as your condition type. For example, by selecting Content Topic Visited as our condition type, the Condition Details section is populated with a drop-down list that allows us to select a content topic. And now we can create our release condition. The Release Condition section has been updated with the newly created condition. In addition to removing all conditions, you can also remove conditions individually. To restore the condition, click the plus sign. Note, if you delete a release condition, then save, you will no longer have the ability to restore the release condition and you will need to create it again. If you have more than one release condition, you can specify if users must satisfy any or all of the following release conditions. In this example, we only have one release condition, so I'll leave it set to all. Once you have saved a release condition, you can now access it via the Attach Existing option. This allows you to reuse the same condition for several items without needing to create it every time. Let's see what release conditions look like from the instructor's view. Regardless of what tool you are using with release conditions, the same visual indicator is used to identify items that have release conditions. As a best practice, it is recommended that you test your release conditions before making them available to your students. From the student's perspective, they cannot see or access items that are dependent on a release condition until that release condition is met. In this example, students cannot see the next module until they visit the last topic of the first module. By satisfying the release condition, students can see and access the next module. As a best practice, when using release conditions with content, be sure that students have access to a syllabus or course outline giving them the information needed to budget the appropriate amount of time for your course.